Hello everyone. This show was presented at the African American Museum of Philadelphia for the CESA kickoff fundraising event led by Dia Dia uh, of Senegal and her family and her board of directors. Um, they want to focus on Tanzania um, because of Wendy Mungai uh, being from that country and special education is their focus in children who are re not receiving special education services in schools in several countries in Africa. Their focus being Senegal, Liberia, and they're looking to add Tanzania. So here I prepared a presentation from the A Matter of Expression point of view uh, for them. We only looked at Tanzania from the Serengeti district of the Mara region, uh, which you see on the map here. Secondly, uh, I took a, also a glimpse of a political map so you could see how close Kenya was to the Mara region, as, as well as Rwanda. Our connection to um, our connection to uh, Tanzania was through Dr. Stephen Kwebe, who is a Minister of Parliament, as you can see. I placed up his information because he is the type of politician who is accessible to all. So you don't have to worry when you call him. You will get him, and he will contact you back. Also, you see his email there. He's a very learned man in medicine, but he focuses on education as well. One thing different about uh, Tanzania than some of the other countries, they do have special education services for young people. However, there is one community of learners that they forget. This is a photo of young people going to school, and they are taking water to school for the teacher because their teacher doesn't have water. So they are not carrying books to school, they are carrying water. And we all found that very interesting um, as we traveled through. Uh, in Tanzania, the language is uh, Swahili, so Swahili was first up, uh, and then English is thereafter. The chosen school that Dr. Kwebe wanted us to see was the Ringwani Secondary School. Here I have pictured one of our favorite teachers, Patricia Michael Nga, who teaches there but is also working on her second graduate degree. And when I told her about CESA, it was very interesting because she said she was about to defend her next graduate work in areas of special education and the needs of those children in Tanzania and some of the other uh, communities in, um, in and around the Serengeti. As you can see, here's Patricia's uh, information, and if you'd like to contact her, she is also available as well. And just for my English-speaking friends, she speaks English very well, um, because we get all flustered when people speak their own language. Um, she is fluent in English as well as Swahili. Here, Patricia answers the several questions that we had for her. Hello. Jumbo Jumbo, Vidhuri Sana. That means very good. I'm fine here. Uh, about the questions, here in Tanzania, Children with physical disabilities are lacking education services as schools, book, books, teachers, and as educational instruments. As for those who are blind albinos, they are lacking chairs, chairs, exercise book, and for those who have, for those who maybe they are disabled with legs. 
they don't have those that that buy cause all all chairs to use for going maybe to the class or school whatever and for those children with AIDS they are still suffering up this time because of the stigmatization of fellow student you need to know here in Tanzania children with AIDS mostly found in the villages also in the villages many people are not well aware of the causative of AIDS there are still poor provision of education about HIV AIDS about it and its impact so many young girls from maybe primary school and secondary are found with it that is because they engage themselves in love affairs till they are, although they are still young and that is due to poverty maybe other they are being lied by men that come with the sex then I'll give you money so that is due to poverty early marriage poor education the parent themselves they don't have enough education about HIV AIDS my suggestions about this problem um, education about HIV AIDS it should be given to children of primary school and secondary school this will help them to be safe all the time and to prevent themselves from engaging to to that situation which will bring them with HIV AIDS also there should be an NGO dealing with children with HIV AIDS given all the needed service this will help them to get educations to get treatment to be out of fear so come to your questions it's true that here in Tanzania young children got HIV AIDS through an unprotective or an unprotected sex Good morning. Here is morning. How about there? What the time this? Yeah, about your questions. You, we need to know children here with HIV AIDS need to go to special schools. As first, those children are in poor condition. They are in psychological torture. They need special care. They are in poor condition. They need help. They need to be in self. They need to get help about their about their problem. So they have been treated in those school in a different ways. Get a psychological healing. Get a treatment while they are getting. There are some group of people, government, and even some of the companies that are handling children with AIDS by giving them education, care, hope, encouragement, and the other need services for them. They're just taking care of them making sure that they don't get any problem okay? embarrassment also there are few schools just for children with AIDS and that is to make them feel free and they're okay in those schools they're just at the year so they're not getting any challenges they are being supplied with the need of maybe food 
clothes, books, teachers, and others material which are made for them. So, but there is not much encouragement for the student with AIDS because here the AIDS problem is seem that it's a big, very, very big problem that someone who is having it, they are still hiding that. Mm. Thank you so much, Patricia, for um, explaining to us the situation there in Tanzania. Tanzania. Um, here you'll see left to right our team who was there at um, Ringwani and visiting the Serengeti. To the left is Mr. Samuel Bentum, the A Matter of Expression Global Liaison, as well as my husband. Um, next, we have Mama Kwebe, um, Dr. Kwebe's illustrious and gracious wife. Um, following her, we have Baba Jackie, who was our driver, but had been a driver in his working years for several politicians in Kenya, followed by Elena Neuferlocker, science teacher extraordinaire at Overbrook High School in Philadelphia. And then we have our Philadelphia Kenyan connection, Mrs. Rispa Osanye Ogutu. Thank you to all of them for connecting us to Tanzania and for the lifelong relationships we shall have with Dr. Kwebe, his team, as well as Patricia Michael and her colleagues at the Ringwani School and beyond. To the right is a picture of the students at Ringwani. Here you can contact us at any time, the A Matter of Expression team, myself being the founder, owner, and operator, Mr. Ben Toom being the global liaison in Ghana and other African countries, currently Kenya, Tanzania, and Ghana. And then we have Aleo Young, who is our researcher and grant finder. You'll see that our website is under construction, but most likely you will find information about us on our Facebook page. Uh, we just like to thank Dia and Sessa for inviting us to be a part of this program today. Um, I look forward to um, collaborating further with them. So thank you all and enjoy your day.